So Joey says I can leave my my shorts on because they're made of waterproof. Well, my neighbors pulled through again. Went trash diving, dumpster diving, whatever you want to call it, and I've brought home a trolling motor. This is a motor guide, hard line, something like that, but it's kind of rusted together. The action is not working, so that can oil that and figure that out. Where are we? The top has been torn off and something went wrong apparently and looks like they may have hardwired it or something and stuck this on there to steer now what i've done to my trolling motor i added a pwm a pulse width modulator what that does it allows you to go from zero to a hundred percent so it uh, pulses the 12 volts instead of regulating the 12 volts it's much more efficient blah 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 you can look it up if you want to. That's what I'm thinking I want to do with this one. What else to do but dig into it? More trash. Let's find out what happens. All right, prop, wires, sparks. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Oh, man. All right. Ooh. Damn. I think that could be part of it. I'm pretty sure this is a 24 volt and I only put 12 volts to it and that may be why it's not working. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is cross my fingers. I'm gonna clean it up, put it back together while crossing my fingers, put 48 volts on it and see what happens. Good luck. All right, that looks much cleaner. A lot less junk on there. Tried 20 volts from a battery, which should been should have been enough to get her going, but it ain't. So I'm losing hope in this very rapidly. What do I do now? Just cross my fingers and hope something works. Feeling pretty defeated on my free trolling motor. I got it. After taking this thing apart this many times, I finally put it back together where it actually works. Don't know how I did it, but I did it. No. Tyler, tell me something. You forgot this part. Welcome to Valley Family Fun. I did. I, hopefully I did that earlier in the beginning. Now, I'm going to hook it up to 12 volts. And... Yeah, she's spinning. Yeah, you gotta... Got that one. Got I that got one it. going. I got that one going. Yeah, you could... Wonder how fast that would move the boat, huh? This one would move it super fast like... 100 miles per hour. That sounds pretty good to me. I finally got the shaft out of the mount, which is separate. Now I'm trying to figure out how am I going to mount mount that to the boat. I kind of want the boat up here so that I can mess with it and check it because there's angles and whatnot. So I'm going to try to use the golf cart to get the boat out. So this is kind of what I've come up with. So I have a piece of angle iron clamping this down, some clamps clamping this down, and I think that's good enough for getting it out of the ditch. All right, this is where I am right now. I've created this contraption, which is on here pretty good. Next is wiring up and she should be good to go. Wasn't comfortable with the setup with the trailer hitch, so I don't know what I was thinking because all I had to do was add one of these on here and I got them C-clamped on, I got another C-clamp keeping it from move left to right. This, I just still need to lock it in, but it'll hold my weight, doesn't even budge. Not worried about it holding the little bit of weight, the tongue of that boat. Time for a test run. Here we go. Okay. All right, we made it to the water. So I hooked up the trolling motor that I got working and it stopped working. I had to put Old Faithful back on. Kind of bummed about it because it seemed to be a pretty nice one. 
so I don't know. I'll mess with it okay. some more. If it's not gonna be reliable, I'm not gonna use it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Joey says I can leave my my shorts on because they're made of waterproof. Okay. Is it cold? Well, was all of that work for nothing? I don't know. Maybe I'll hit it with a hammer or kick it around a few times. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet, but what I did learn is the golf cart will take the boat, put it in the water, and get it back out, which is exactly what I wanted. So now I can make a little bit more permanent solution for the receiver hitch for the golf cart. And are off-road tires a necessity? Probably not. Never lost traction, pulling the boat out. Everything seemed to, working, uh, seemed to be working fine. I'm happy with that. The golf cart will put the boat in the water and take it back out. Now on a traditional boat ramp, I don't know, that's pretty steep. Not sure if that would work, but on mine, works great. Maybe I will get some tires for it and take it over to the other lake, because that one's a little bit more steep. It's not really a boat ramp, it's just grass. All for nothing, maybe, but golf cart works. That's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.